Hey, thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Today I want to talk to you about Fords. All right, so what we're going to talk about is Fords around 2000. This one's a 2002. Um, they did this for many years. If you have a key and it won't start and it feels like something is broken and the key just turns real, real easy, uh, there's a common problem that, that, that is the cause of that, and I'm going to show you what that is. Okay, so here's the symptom. So normally there'd be a steering wheel here with an airbag. Turn signal switch here. Okay, so that's what this would look like all put together. So you would get in and you would turn the key and the key would just turn like this. And nothing would be happening. No starting, no nothing. You could feel like a little push right there in the start position, but nothing will really be happening. It will just be like a limp, a limp column. So what you'll notice is, so this yellow right here, this is a rod that moves. So you can see how it's moving. All right. So when you turn the key, I'll do it from, so when you turn the key, basically, what it is is there is a, a yellow plastic uh, rod in here and it goes right through here and then it connects up to this side here. So this is the bottom here. So this right here, this yellow piece here, you can see it shooting out the back. Okay, so that piece there, this is where the ignition switch goes. So the ignition switch goes in here Okay, and then it moves this, the key moves this rod, which then in turn moves the ignition switch, and you could hear a, okay, so the ignition, so the key turns this rod, it moves all the way down, and then this turns, this moves the ignition switch to the correct position. All right, so what you'll notice is that when you watch this piece right here, so right there you see how it pushed down, and then now I turn the key, turn in the key, back and forth, Nothing is happening. Okay, so then if I pull this back and I turn the key, it moves. The reason is because the other part of the rod that's up here in the front, there's two pieces and they connect together. When you turn the key, it pushes this, but then when you turn the key back, it's supposed to pull it back, which then turns the ignition switch to the correct position to remove power. So that's how this system works. And this is a very, very common problem. You can tear this apart and replace these parts. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here we go. We've got this column here. All right. So now what we gotta do is, so this is for the tilt right here. This is the tilt wheel. So this makes it a little bit difficult to get out. Um, I'm not putting this back together. So I don't necessarily have to take it apart where I'm going to put it back together. But, so just for, so we got to get this off here. This plastic piece up here. So you got to get it to, to just pop. Once you get it to go, it comes right off. There it is there. All right, not too bad. All right, we got a snap ring here. Now this snap ring is, is a lot, uh, is, is pretty strong. All right, so it doesn't take much to get it to go. Once you start getting it to go, it'll go. Yeah, I'm stuck in another groove. There we go. All right. All right. Snap ring out. There it is. Okay. So now we got this spring. All right. So it goes like this. And then you've got this bottom spacer here. Now make sure 
that you lay this out correctly. So this goes back on the column the right way. This goes towards the column. That's important. All right. So now, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pop this plastic piece off. This just snaps in. We're just getting it out of the way. All right. So now, let's see. So now we gotta take, we gotta take this off right here. go that's off there two torque screws all right so all right next up is gonna get these two uh you know what let's do this let's go ahead and get this uh, lock cylinder out of here so we don't have to worry about this thing anymore so put this thing in the run position and then push the ball in of course it's not coming out because I don't have anything to push on but it should come right out There we go. All right, so you got that ball right there. Okay, you put it in the run position, not the start position. And then you push the little ball in this hole here. That's how you get the lock cylinder out. All right, so now. So now you got this spring right here. All right. So we're gonna take that off because this, this column is gonna kinda come apart. And this spring comes down here. So there it is there, there's the spring. Okay, that goes on the bottom. This goes on the arm for where the tilt goes. There's that. All right. So now, This is the tricky part. Because of the tilt, this thing, it, it becomes kind of a pain. All right, so that's actually why in some cases I don't like to rebuild these columns anymore because putting them back together, you just end up with problems. All right, so. So these things are really, really strong. All right, so there's that. All right, so this is what makes your column really, really difficult to do. But, um, but basically what I'm trying to do is show you how to take this apart, or really, I'm really trying to show you how, how to figure out you know, what's wrong with it. In this case, it's this broken part, which I'm gonna show you. And now that we've, we're in taking it apart, so this spring right here is when you pull on the, on the tilt, you're pushing up against that right there. So there's that. part is a little bit tricky. Oh, what an idiot. Okay, so there is another clip up here right there that you gotta get out.
I was doing this on total memory. So you got this clip here, and this goes in the front of this housing. And this is what centers it on the shaft. So now that that's gone, now we can, now we can lift these arms up. And get this out of here. There's two, okay. So then, this just comes out like that. All right, so this is the tricky part and this is why it's such a pain is because you're fighting this and you're fighting these you're fighting these arms here which have a, a tremendous amount of pressure from these springs on the back side. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta lift these arms up as you're pushing the housing in and getting it centered and everything else. So now that we've got it off, so now what we can see is when we turn the key, so when we turn the key, we're pushing this rod here, right? So the rod is going in and out. So that part works, okay? So now, the other part is this. All right, so then you gotta take the rest of the column apart. Fails you there. All right, so there's that. There's that. Okay, so now, so now we're taking off the back side of the column. All right, so we're taking this stuff off. Right. So. All right, so here's the back side. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna pop this stuff off here. All right.
All right. Just got to get those out. All right. You also got to take this off. You got to take this piece off here. And that was right here. We're going to take that off. All right. Little housing comes off the back. All right. So now the, now the shaft of the steering column comes out. All right, so now is the, the moment of truth, and then this is to show you, which was what this video was about, was just to show you what causes the no start in this, in this system. Is, and the reason I couldn't take it out was because, it, because of this, this part here, it's hitting inside of the, right there. So these two go together like that and that's how it pushes up against it gives it the leverage for the the spring action of the start so when you push it down to start it pushes back so that's what this is so the the cause of the no start is right here so in actuality you could probably just get a new pin i mean a new piece here so that's most likely what I found in the column. I found this little piece in the column and it's most likely the, the, the pin that goes in here. And I just dropped it, I don't know where it went. But anyways, so what happens is these two go together like that, okay? You're supposed to have a pin, You're supposed to go through there. And therefore, when this comes forward, it pushes this, brings it back. Pushes this, brings it back. Obviously that was not happening in this case, so that's what, well, actually it's really common, not just this, but you know, a lot of these vehicles, a lot of these Fords, a lot of these Fords, it's really, really common uh, that, that this thing fails and therefore your key just turns like a limp noodle and there's nothing there. It feels like nothing is attached. So this is a, I think this is a 2001 Ford. Uh, this spans for many, many years that Ford did this system. So the, what I like to say is the first step that you want to do when you have this situation where the key is turning and nothing is happening, take the ignition switch off, two torque screws. Take the ignition switch off. When you turn the key, you should see the yellow rod, the yellow plastic piece, come all the way down and go all the way back. Usually what will happen is it will push it down, but it won't bring it back. And then that's what that's, and that's because that pin is broken. So. Hopefully this is helpful in helping you to get to your diagnosis or get to the root cause quicker um, without having to jump through hurdles and hoops. Uh, so yeah, so let me know in the comments below if you've ever had this happen to you or if you had to go in circles to figure this out or if, if it was even helpful. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, you'll get notified of my future videos. Check out Nuts and Bolts with Tone on Instagram and I'll share with you my daily life as a mechanic. Thanks for checking me out. We'll see you next time.